show you this perspective outside. This is our uh, uh, camera there at Beach Island, looking at Bushfield's uh, airport there, Augusta Regional. You can see the terminal there off in the distance. This is the one of the side runways that they have, but it's turned into a parking lot this week, especially with all the folks coming in, all the private planes. They are lined up there at the runway. Temperatures right now, they're into the 80s, 87 degrees, sunny skies there at the airport, and we're going to talk about more warmer conditions as we go through the rest of this evening. So if you have any outdoor plans later on this evening, you're going to be in great shape, nice and mild, staying into the 80s and 70s, cooling down to those lower 70s by about 11 o'clock this evening, and we're going to hang on to those clouds, both through tonight as well as through a little bit of the day tomorrow. Let's go through tomorrow afternoon. The first part of the day, we're going to stay relatively dry, maybe a stray shower here or there, but then as we get closer between about four and five o'clock. We'll really see those rain chances start to increase a little bit more. A few more isolated to scattered showers and possibly a rumble of thunder, but all is dry right now. We go off to our west where that cold front is still parked and we still have severe thunderstorm warnings stretching from Mississippi all the way up through Kentucky. It's this system that's going to move through by Friday, giving us more rainfall and that system will linger as we go through the upcoming weekend, really stalling out over the CSRA. So let's time this out going through the day tomorrow and through through Friday afternoon really can see that rain chance start to increase for us. That cold front will turn stationary as it dips to our south. High pressure to our north is going to feed in a lot of cold air, so it's going to be wet and chilly as we go through both Saturday morning and lasting through the afternoon. The evening by Sunday, a few morning showers, but that northeast wind is still going to make it feel on the colder side waking up on Sunday. A little bit more scattered showers by Friday. That turns more widespread by Saturday, and then we're seeing those showers still left over by Sunday. Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon does look to dry things out finally just a little bit. Now, as you're heading out to the course tomorrow, we are going to see those temperatures starting into the 60s, working up to the 80s by the afternoon. So expecting another warm one, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, mainly clouds for the afternoon, and then we'll have that chance for a few scattered showers and possibly an isolated rumble of thunder. The temperatures will start to go down through the day on Friday and very chilly on Saturday with some of us not getting out of the upper 40s and the lower 50s. If you see rain starting at 7 o'clock in the morning, lasting through the afternoon, you're going to be one of those spots that stays on the chillier side there. We'll go through the hour by hour of forecast going through tomorrow morning. There's that chance for maybe a sprinkle or two by the afternoon. We could see maybe a heavier downpour or rumble of thunder out there as we get through the day on Friday, especially areas west of Augusta. You'll have the chance for those showers first, then that will move eastward as we go through Friday afternoon, Friday night. That turns widespread as we head through the day on Saturday. Wind chill is going to be a factor if you can believe it or not for Sunday morning, the final round of the Masters. It's going to be chilly with wind chill values in the upper 30s as well as the low 40s. As far as how much rainfall we can expect, that's going to be between about one to two inches here in Augusta. The next seven days, we'll see those temperatures staying into those 80s for tomorrow, then jumping back into the 70s as we go through next week. But cool for Saturday, 53 for the high. Anthony, thanks. A new survey shows.